Welcome to Section 2, a focus on customer service. In this section, we'll be learning how to bond with customers involving customers in problem resolution. Bonding with customers. Welcoming the customer. When greeting a customer, make sure to greet them with a smile and a positive attitude. Greet them with warm, friendly words and, a mind and be mindful of your body language. Provide an exceptional customer service. Give them what they want, within reason of course, in a quick friendly manner. If you are for any reason unable to find or help them with the request, make sure you can find what they're looking for, i.e. call around to other businesses, make a special order for them, or take an online look to help them with their question. Care and concern for your customers. When providing customer service, make sure to ask questions. Make sure your customers get in what they want. Are you finding everything all right? Is everything suiting your needs? Is there anything else you may need along with your current order? Also make sure to inform them of what else you can do for them. Can we wrap that up for you if you'd like? Feel free to return this if it does not perform to your satisfaction. We can order additional accessories for your order if needed. Be sure to be friendly and most of all sincere. Relationship building with customers. When interacting with customers, make sure to try and build an actual relationship with customers. If you notice a t-shirt of a sports team, or a rock and roll band, or a popular icon that you feel warmly about, make sure to comment that you enjoy them as well. Ask a customer if they have any exciting plans for the weekend, or if they're having a pleasant day. Compliment them on their handbag, blazer, necktie, or jewelry. Be mindful, friendliness does not get in the way of work. And remember the old adage, familiarity breeds contempt. Getting the customer to return. And remember, always remind customers to return for business again. Be as formal or as informal as necessary based on the climate of your work.